All right, so we're going to talk about uh, programming in C with the AVR microcontrollers, and this time we're going to talk about time delays. All right, so you can use loops like a for loop to create an arbitrarily long or short time delay. Basically, you're doing nothing inside of the loop, and you basically set some numeric value in here for the number of times that you loop. And if that number is long enough, and if you if you s calibrate it properly, you can get fixed delays this way. However, the clock frequency can change the delay duration. So if you go from an 8 megahertz clock to a 16 megahertz clock or something along those lines, it, it can have an impact on uh, whether this is an accurate representation of your delay. So in Atmel Studio or MPLAB X, which are using GCC as the back end for the compiler, you can use predefined functions. And these are available not only for the Atmega processors, but other uh, processor architectures as well. It's really dependent on your compiler and your IDE. So make sure you, you check. But with, with Atmel Studio or MPLAB X, if you're using either of those with GCC on the back end, then if you do an, uh, define right here, where you define what your frequency for the CPU clock is, Typically, it would be like 8 megahertz. That's the 8 million right there that you see, 8 million UL. Or 16 million, which is often very common for the Arduino type of Atmega 328s. Then you have an include for the delay function. Okay, so you use util delay.h. And then you can use either delay uh, microsecond or delay millisecond to create fixed delays that are tuned to the particular clock that you have declared that you're using. Again, this is compiler dependent and it's hardware dependent. All right, so here is an example where we would be, uh, say, turning an I.O. pin on and off, uh, in this case, or multiple pins, using the port B uh, uh, definition here. So we're assigning values to port B, and we have a while loop where we say uh, port uh, B is equal to FF, so all the values in port B are turned to 1 or high, and then we have a delay of 500 milliseconds. Then we uh, set some of those to zero and some to one uh, using the hex value of 0x55. And then we put another uh, 500 millisecond delay. Now, it's important to point out that once again, this is not a universal thing. It really is dependent on the type of compiler that you're using. But for the Atmega 328s, this will work. Okay. Now, the other thing to point out is that when we're making switches between uh, port values and that, it, having these, these hard-coded values like this isn't necessarily the right way to do it. Instead, we should be using bit shift operations. So here's another example. In this case, what I had was one of the Arduino-compatible Grove boards with the PB5 LED turned on and off, and a logic analyzer to verify the timing was right. But you can also, if you have the time delays long enough, you can use a stopwatch and your eye to, to make sure that the LED is, is flashing with the right uh, delays. So here we go. We've got the F CPU. Okay, so the, the defined value for the CPU frequency at 16 million or 16 megahertz, because we have a 16 megahertz crystal. I'm using the port definitions from XC.H, which are available in MPLAB X. With that mail studio, it's slightly different. And then I'm going to use util delay.h for the delay function. And here's my main function. I set the data direction register for PB5. Okay, so bit 5 is going to be an output. I have a millisecond delay here set to 1,000 milliseconds, so one second. Then I turn my LED off. Then I delay again for 1,000. And then I have my LED on using again the bit shift operation here. So in the first case it's an AND, in the second one it's an OR. This will turn it off and then on. I'll be able to see it not only visually, but also using the logic analyzer. You can also do this sort of thing using a simulated logic analyzer in MPLAB X. It is available. It's slightly different in terms of how it's used. But at the end of the day, you can verify your timing uh, either with a logic analyzer or a oscilloscope, or you can use uh, visuals using an LED. Mm -hmm.